Hi there, and uh, thank you for uh, watching this, uh, this short video. Um, today I wanted to show you how easy it is to uh, start monitoring uh, your application infrastructure when you're using SoStack Cloud Test Lite. Um, the whole point of doing load and performance testing is to optimize the performance of your, of your app and, and finding bottlenecks that could be in the application itself or in the infrastructure where the application is running. And so today we're going to focus on, on that, on the infrastructure problem we could find. Um, for that demo, I'm going to hit um, our uh, demo site, which is called Sosa Store. It's a, it's a very small uh, WordPress application running on EC2. And that mimic uh, uh, e-commerce uh, uh, website. So people can you know, shop for books. Uh, they can interact on forum, post topic, and, and reply, etc. So very simple um, e-commerce site. I won't uh, go through the scenario uh, recording, creation, and how to create a clip, and how to you know, uh, parameterize uh, the scenario, and correlate, and all the transactions, all that good stuff. Maybe in subsequent uh, uh, video I will go through that. But today it's all about monitoring. So I've prepared everything. And I've created a, a composition, uh, and a composition is a, a representation of my end-to-end uh, uh, -end test and the traffic that I'm going to use for, for that test. So during the test, a uh, virtual user will browse uh, the e-commerce site. Uh, they're going to hit the home page. They're going to search for book. Um, I have some seed data there to you know, uh, uh, randomize the, uh, the book. And they're going to interact on the forum. So very simple you know, scenario that just enough for, for what we want. We'll use 100 virtual users, again, enough. And this is what you get with uh, SoulStack Cloud Test Lite. You can test up uh, until 100 virtual users. So I get my composition that I'm going to play. Now I'm going to set up uh, the monitoring uh, part. The first thing you want to do is to create uh, monitoring server groups. And that's going to tell uh, Cloud Test Lite uh, the servers that you want to monitor. So I'm going to click Next here. I want to create a monitoring server group. Um, I'm going to give it a name, Sosta uh, Store Demo Server Group. And I'm going to start adding all the servers that I want to monitor. Here, I only have one server. It's a very small application. So I have only one server, but it could be, you know, I could have multiple web server, multiple app server, um, some database server as well, but here I only have one server. I'm going to click on next. Um, I'm going to select the type of resources I want to monitor. Uh, it could be, you know, the CPU, memory, the system resource in that box, um, the app server uh, running in the box. Uh, it could be a network device, so through SNMP I'm going to be able to monitor switches, load balancer, and all that good stuff. Uh, databases and cold fusion. Here I only want to, on that box, monitor the system resource. I'm going to click on Next. Here I'm going to tell Cloud Test Lite how to access that box. Um, on my example, this is a Red Hat uh, box, so that's perfect. On port 22 I'm going to uh, connect using SSH and authenticate using uh, username and password that I'm going to enter here. I'm going to test the connection just to make sure I didn't uh, do any typo. I'm good. Uh, so here I'm running Red Hat, but you can you know, pick any you know, Linux distro. We can, uh, we can monitor AIX. Uh, we can also monitor Windows. For Windows XP 2003 and Vista, uh, you're going to have to um, install a conductor uh, like, like an agent that will allow us to retrieve performance counter on those Windows box. If you're using Server 2000X8, you can connect using WMI. Uh, but on our example, we're talking about Red Hat Linux. So I'm good here. Uh, before finishing, I'm going to create a monitor on that server group. And I'm going to finish. So that's my actual monitor that I'm uh, uh, creating that's going to run on that server group. Um, Sosta store, oops, Sosta store demo monitor. 
and it's sitting on that server group perfect next here I'm gonna select the resources I want to monitor so you know, this is all my choices and well I might as well monitor everything so the IO stuff memory the network activity uh, all the per, per process uh, uh, activity that's especially for Apache my web server and actually the uh, argument I got Apache 2 process running so I'm gonna enter that here and the process count I can add custom object uh, if I have custom monitor running but I'm not gonna do that here I don't actually have custom monitor and I'm good to go finish I go and monitor I have my monitor here um, I can start it right from here uh, but there's one thing I prefer because I, I don't like to think about you know starting my monitor and stopping my monitor what I usually like to do is um, directly on the composition I can tell uh, cloud test Lite to start the monitor every time I run a test it's going to start the monitor automatically and it's going to stop it when the, when the test stops so it's just convenient it's easier uh, I'm just going to verify one thing which is my ramp up time uh, yeah, five minutes. So it's a five minutes ramp up for 100 virtual user. Should be good enough to get a you know fair understanding of the performance of uh, of the application and the infrastructure. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start the test. So it's loading the composition right now, and really quickly we're gonna start seeing some performance uh, uh, results uh, coming back at us. So if you're not familiar with Cloud Test Lite, uh, when you run a test. Uh, you're going to watch dashboard. So everything is dashboard and widget based. Uh, this is my typical dashboard that I use for, for demo that I've, I've created with all the high level performance information. So I'm going to have my fundamentals um, uh, data, so elapsed time, uh, message sent, uh, my average response time, uh, which is an aggregation of all the response time of all uh, the pages and all the uh, uh, assets. Uh, the throughput, my current virtual user, and I have widget like, you know, the typical average response time, the virtual users, uh, my bandwidth, my send rate, very important, error count, byte received, and that's my dashboard, but you can customize it the way you want with as many widgets as you want. Um, so this is, you know, I'm not going to go through all of that. I'm actually going to add one uh, chart, which is... Uh, on the basic, the error analysis. Just if you hit some here, we want to see. I forgot to add this one, so I'm going to add it here. So in real time, I can, you know, add widget, remove widget. Uh, so here I don't have any error, but maybe later we'll see if uh, if we get something. It's always useful to have to have this uh, this widget on your high level view. So. We're one uh, minute and a half within the test. We're doing okay. We get a spike here, but nothing out of the ordinary. The response time is fairly flat. Uh, we got 36 uh, virtual user. Everything looks fairly good. Let's jump on the monitoring side um, to see what's going on um, on that box. So again, that's uh, that's my typical monitoring summary, I would say. So I got the CPU percentage on that box. And we're seeing that it's uh, well, it's increasing. Can't say that it's looking really good. Um, I got my memory usage uh, on top of virtual user, just to uh, I can have both of them on top of each other, so I can uh, clearly see what's going on. So it's definitely increasing, but that's normal. Uh, I got my process count uh, per process CPU percentage, um, and all the process count you, you see increasing. That's all the uh, Apache. Uh, Apache uh, uh, process spawning as the load uh, uh, is increasing. I got, you know, obviously uh, I'm spawning a new Apache um, uh, process, and this is my top window. So things are looking well, not that good because I'm I'm starting to hit 100% on my box, right? You know, in, in two minute time frame. Let's go see on my summary what's going on. Yeah, so definitely I can see that. 
you know, there is there is something uh, going on here. I mean, it was fairly flat, but here it's increasing. Uh, I'm starting to see some air here. Uh, not that much, but you know, it's getting there. I got an error. I can see what's going on. So, okay, four, three, forbidden. Okay, I'm not gonna care too much about that for now. Uh, but definitely, there is a there is something going on. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my CPU percentage on top of the average response time. So that's the cool thing about that UI is that you can take two widgets and combine them, correlate them, uh, which is very useful to see, uh, to have a better view uh, uh, that allow you to uh, uh, explain, I would say, uh, the, 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 the performance. I mean, what, what you observe is going to help you uh, uh, get a better ex explanation, I would say. You're going to see I'm not very clear here, right? But uh, you're going to see what I'm talking about. So here I'm combining uh, both chart. I'm going to remove that. I'm going to make it a bit clearer. Uh, there's plenty of options to customize your dashboard. It's actually awesome. Uh, let me tell you that. So CPU percentage, I want to see an area. That's always a bit better. And I want to have the other way around. So I want to see that here and I'm going to apply and I'm going to say OK. All right, so here, I mean, you can clearly see that the, rec the fact that you can combine widget allow you to correlate uh, uh, data. So here there is a clear correlation between my CPU kind of maxing out here and an increasing uh, response time. It's like obvious that my, my CPU is maxed out and and I actually know that because the box we're using on the, uh, for that demo is really small. I think it's one of the smallest EC2 instance with uh, uh, with only four CPU, I think. So it can't handle you know a lot of load. So there is an obvious correlation between you know what's going on in the box and what we're seeing uh, as far as response time. Here, uh, at the same time, we're seeing you know the error count and. And yeah, we, we're seeing timeout, so it's becoming all over the place. So timeout, and this is why we have an increase uh, uh, of response time. So very easily, just by uh, standing up, you know, a resource monitor on the on the box I'm hitting, I can already you know tell you that <laughs> that box is not fit for uh, for you know production. Uh, for production load. It's not even production load. It's only 100 virtual users, so it's very small. But it's not even ready for that, which I was expecting because I know the box is really small. But just to show you that, you know, setting up monitor, server group, monitor, and, and using dashboard and widget, you can already, you know, start to get some answer about the performance of, of your application. And that's uh, uh, and that's really cool. I mean, here I'm only uh, monitoring one server, but I can show you here. Uh, this is a result of a, a same same. Uh, uh, it was the same WordPress app, but on a bigger machine with with multiple web server handling and 10,000 uh, virtual users. So here you can see you know the CPU percentage for all the boxes we had, and we had you know a lot of web server here. You can see them, right? So that's a more realistic test. Uh, that's my memory usage for all the all the server uh, CPU percentage uh, uh, on top of virtual user. So you can see that it was actually really good. Look at that, 10,000 uh, virtual user, and we only have you know CPU percentage 40%. So plenty of room to grow. So that's uh, you know that environment was ready to handle you know production uh, type load, which is uh, which is good, um, but. My demo is only you know one server and definitely not enough to handle that traffic. So here you can see, it's obvious that we're having issue very quickly actually. And um, so, if you're using Cloud Test Lite and you're not monitoring today, please you know start whether you get a Windows box or a Linux box or AX or whatever box. Try to you know get uh, credential um, to the to the server and and to start really uh, 
get the whole story because if you don't monitor your infrastructure, I think, well, you're actually missing a big part of the story. I mean, if I 